morning everyone well this morning I'm at a place on well just on the edge of the Dartmoor National Park called uh, Dartmeat and it's got some absolutely stunning streams on the River Dart This is an absolute stunning view. It, the trouble is, it is just spoilt for choice. You just don't know where to go. It's you could do with a week here, really, but I've only got a couple of hours at the very well. Not even that. I've got to pick the wife up from Plymouth. The reason I'm on Dartmoor so much lately is, is the wife's um, parents are not very well, and they live in Plymouth. So at every free opportunity we drive down to Plymouth. I drop the wife off with a parents and then I come and have a couple of days out on the moors so um, I, I've done quite a bit on Dartmoor in the past but uh, I must admit the more I drive around it the more I can see the, the potential of it it's absolutely stunning my, my favourite area always used to be Snowdonia National Park the Lake District which you know everybody just seems to be drawn to because the, the photo opportunities are fantastic but I must admit, don't dis dis dismiss Dartmoor, it's absolutely stunning. It's got some beautiful scenery and it's got a lot of all of history and a lot of the history is still sort of visible so that it really does make some good, some good photographic um, subjects. Anyway, I'm going to have a look around now to see if I can find somewhere to take a picture. Wherever I go, I think I've got to end up either paddling or trying to dance across the stones. So um, here we go. Well, I found a composition that would work, but the trouble is, there's a house, and it's quite a modern house. So don't really want to do that one. So I'll, uh, I'm going to carry on walking up the bank a little bit further, but. Like I said previously, it's absolutely amazing this river. It's got more boulders than water, which is it's it's a ph photographer's dream, really. I'll spin you round and uh, point you down the river, and uh, you'll see what I mean about the house. Well, the people that come here to enjoy themselves are obviously not, not fans of the great outdoors. That, that phrase, leave no trace, uh, obviously they've never heard of that. Look at the clarity of that water, it's absolutely stunning. It's as, it's as if it's got its, uh, a built-in polarizer. I should imagine there's some good trout in this stream. Well that's roughly the composition I've gone for and I have added a polarizer. I just want to see what sort of photo it makes where you can see all that detail under the surface of the water. I must admit I really am a sucker for water shots. So the next one is I'm going to go and find a spot where we can put the, um, the dreaded big stopper on. Well, I found an absolute stunning little composition here and uh, I've had to tie Ruby up to a tree because she, uh, she keeps going in the water and then when she gets out she wants to tell me how, how clever she is and shakes water all over me polarizer and all over me lens and everything so it's doing me head in. So I've had to tie her up for a few minutes. I 
here's the composition I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, get myself set up. I think I'm going to try and find myself a bowling rock set the tripod up so I can face sort of upstream and um, get the big stuff on and uh, see how we get on. But the colours and, and the rocks are absolutely amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so lucky, you know, people travel all over the world to get landscape photos, but you don't give it a second thought, this country is full of places that are stunning. Well, there's my setup. I'm shooting it at F8 uh, with a polarizer, and the detail under the water is fantastic. Um, I'm going to try it without the polarizer first to get some of the glare. Uh, sorry, my mistake. I'm going to try it without the, the big stopper to, without getting any of the blurring effect. And then I'll try it also with the big stopper. So I'll um, put the images up and see what you think. Well that's it from Dartmoor this week and uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed uh, making this video. So when I come to write my book, which will, only be, will be never, but if I was going to write a book I think this would have to go in the top 10 locations to visit. Absolutely stunning. So if you're in, ever in the southwest, put this on your list. It's not far from Princetown, it's a place called Dartmeat. There's good, camp, um, good car parking facilities, but you can't camp because today we're in actually in a National Trust um, nature reserve and they don't allow camping, nor barbecues, and we saw somebody had discarded one. So uh, until the next time, thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll sub subscribe and I'll have plenty more videos coming as and when I can uh, fit them in. Cheers, bye for now. Well, I'm glad I came when I did. It's absolutely packed with people now. Do other people encounter inconsiderate people? I was just perched on the edge of a rock, taking a picture of um, down the stream, down the river, and a girl just walked straight in front of the camera and stood there. I mean, you know, is it just me or does it happen to anybody else? But I'll spin you around and show you how busy the car park is now, so I'm glad I'm done and I can get away.